how to crochet this hat which is very particular if you see you have these very nice shells and then this border and if you like you can decorate the hat with a bow and I will show you also how to crochet this kind of bow so let's get started and now this is the same hat in different color and with a different decoration okay I will show you how to crochet this flower too in another video if you like for this project I have used this um, this uh, wool about 80 grams and uh, um, a crochet hook number eight of course you can you can use uh, the yarn that you prefer uh, and also a smaller hook the only thing that you have to do in this case and to is to uh, increase the number of rounds uh, where you will uh, have to do the increases so let's start magic ring like that in to this magic ring 12 double crochet one two etc okay now you can pull this yarn like that so that you close you can close your ring and slip stitch in the first double crochet to join okay now go ahead chain one yarn over and pass below this first double crochet to make a double crochet which is over the double crochet of previous round so let's see again i show you again yarn over insert your hook here then you pass so here behind this stitch you go out yarn over pull the yarn you have three yarns on your hook and make your double crochet like that okay now In the space between this first double crochet of first round and second one you know you have this space you make another double crochet in the middle between these two double crochet then in the next one you make another double crochet like the first one so passing through the double crochet below like that and then again between the first and second double crochet another double crochet just in the middle like that you go ahead this way all around till the end Okay, at the end of this row you see you have to do the last double crochet in the middle you have this chain but we don't have to count this so it doesn't matter 
skip this chain and slip stitch to join this round. So at the end of this round you have 12 back post double crochet and 12 double crochet in the middle. Okay? So now you are ready for the third round. At the end of round 2 I have totally 24 double crochet, 12 are back post double crochet and 12 are um, double crochet in the middle. Now for uh, the third round I have to do the same thing. I have to work on the same number uh, of stitches uh, and so I have to repeat uh, round 2. The only difference is that we, we see together the difference. Chain 1, as in the previous round, I'm going to make my back post double crochet like that. Now I have to do the double crochet in the middle, but I don't work this double crochet here on this double crochet but in the space between the back post double crochet and the double crochet in the middle in this space like that okay now again another back post double crochet and another double crochet in the middle but between the two, the two previous double crochet in this space. I go ahead in this way till the end of this round. Okay, round four, chain one, a back post double crochet like that. Now in the space between this back post double crochet and the double crochet in the middle, I have this space, I'm going to do two double crochet, one and two in the same space and then again one back post double crochet and again in this space between the two double crochet two in the same stitch go ahead all around okay round five you have to repeat exactly round four with no increases so one back past double crochet in the space between these two double crochet in the middle and the back post double crochet you are going to do again two double crochet in the same space in the middle and then again one back post double crochet and go ahead in the same way around round six now i have my 12 back post double crochet but in the middle i have three double crochet in the same space go ahead all around Round 7, chain 1, 1 back post double crochet and now in the middle, in the same space, same stitch, I'm going to do this time 4 double crochet, 2, 3 and 4. Then again back post double crochet and go ahead all around like that. Okay? Okay, after uh, round seven you have a diameter of 23 centimeter or otherwise American size is nine. So if you are using a different uh, kind of yarn and a different uh, hook size you know that when you reach this measurement you have to stop with increases okay now for round 
8, 9, 10 and 11, you have to repeat the same number of stitches uh, working four double crochet in the middle. Uh, never mind this different color. Um, this is the same hat realized in another color, but we are at the same stage. And in fact, this is uh, round number nine and I'm repeating four double crochet in the middle. Two, three, four. So I go ahead till round number 11 included. Okay, now we are ready for round 12. Chain one. And now, not in the same stitch, you see, this would be the first stitch of this round, but in the following one, single crochet and second single crochet in the following one, single crochet three in the next one, single crochet four in the next one. Now, I have to decrease making two single crochet closed together. Insert your hook, two yarns on your hook, insert your hook again, pull the yarn, three yarns on your hook, close these two single crochet together. This is one, one decrease. So each four single crochet you have to do one decrease like that. One, two, close together. And you have to do a single crochet in each stitch around, but each four single crochet you must do one in one decrease like that okay end of round 12 making these decreasing we have now 39 stitches instead of the previous 60 round 13 chain one and now we i have to do all single crochet in each stitch around but working from the back to the front like that so single crochet one and and then single crochet two so all single crochet from the back to the front worked in this way like that in each stitch around. After two rounds of single crochet from the back, I have a new round with double crochet. In this round, I will, I'm going to do two double crochet on the front of the previous stitches and then Two double crochet from the back of the stitches. I will show you how to do. Chain one, yarn over and insert your hook under the stitch and then go out in the next stitch, yarn over and make your double crochet like that next stitch in the same way double crochet two now yarn over from the back of the stitch to the front i'm doing double crochet one and second one
like that. So for all around I have to do two double crochet on the front, two double crochet on the back again two on the front and two on the back like that till the end of this round I am at the end of this round and as we have uh, an odd number of stitches, of course, last double crochet will be just one. And then slip stitch to join. Now I have to repeat second time this round and will be an equal round like the previous one and now the two last rounds just as finishing touch and so chain one and again from the back to on the front and then again on the back to the back or single crochet just to create the same line we have done before for these two rounds and now again just one line as these two Okay, now you can decide if stopping at this stage or otherwise if you want you can do um, a round of reverse single crochet like that. So all single crochet in each stitch around but going back like this. And that's all. Your hat is finished.